What's going on everyone? Gourmet here. Today I am bringing you guys a 4-3-3 tactic that to my surprise actually worked pretty well. I, I'm using a role in it that I have never really used personally or tested with. So seeing how good this role performed and how well this tactic performed overall is very, very nice to see. And we have got a surprise finish with this club that you see currently, Boa Vista. They absolutely blew me away. One of their players is very, very good. Uh, so we will be going over all of that today. So if you guys do happen to enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be linking the tactic down below in the Discord that is linked down below. And also, I am back on Twitch. So if you guys would like to come on over and check out the stream, Feel free to do so. You can catch me at twitch.tv slash ygormian. I am also uploading the stream highlights here on YouTube, a condensed down version so that you guys don't have to sit through the whole three to four hour streams. You guys can get it real quick within 20 to 30 minutes and be caught up completely on what is going on over there. But now without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so here we are with the tactic called the Iron Fist. So, we've got an advance forward on attack up top, which shoot more often on. Both inverted wingers have aim crosses at center and shoot more often added to them. The central midfielder on attack, only thing we added to him was tackle harder. We are using a Regista with this tactic, and we left him as is. We've got a ball winning midfielder on defend, left him as is as well. Both complete wing backs and their crosses at center and cross more often. The central defenders, all we added to them was tackle harder. And the sweeper keeper on defend was left as is. We have a positive mentality. We had a wide attacking width, pass into space, overlap on the left and the right, and play out from our defense. We work the ball into the box and dribble less. In transition, we counter press, counter, distribute quickly, and distribute to our fullbacks and center backs, aka distribute to the defense. And out of possession, we have a much higher line of engagement, a higher defensive line, extremely urgent pressing intensity, and prevent short goalkeeper distribution. And when it comes to our set pieces, we've got the elite corner set piece tactics that we are rocking as well as the elite set piece tactics overall, which will be linked to this tactic when you guys download it, as well as I will be putting it in the Discord for you guys to download as well. But now let's take a look at how Boa Vista did in the league and the other team in Portugal. All right, so Boa Vista overall, they're supposed to finish between 8th and 10th. They finished all the way up in 3rd with this tactic. They were very, very good. Had some pretty decent results as well. The other team that we tested this with was Benfica, and Benfica did very well in the European competitions. Now, Boa Vista ended up being the runner-up in the Portuguese Cup, in the Portuguese League Cup. They got knocked out in the first round, but we will definitely take a third-place finish, which gets them in the Champions League and runner-up in the Portuguese Cup. And Albert Ellis was absolutely phenomenal for them. Uh, you guys will see that momentarily. But now switching over to Benfica real quick. So here we are with Benfica. Like I said, they finished in second. They also get Champions League football. They finished in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. They got knocked out by Liverpool, but they beat some very big teams on the way to getting there. Juventus was in their group, and they beat Juventus. So very, very impressed with that. They got knocked out by the eventual winners in Braga and the Portuguese Cup. And in the Portuguese Super Cup, they ended up winning it all. So that is very nice to see. But let's look at what the teams did in the team and player overview. All right. So here we are. Team overview. Boa Vista scored the second most goals in the league to Porto with 72. Benfica scoring 65. Most shots for both teams are in. Benfica in 5th, Boa Vista in 7th. Few shots against Benfica in 3rd, Boa Vista in 8th. Best pass completion, Benfica in 5th, 
with 88%. We've got most possession, Benfica are also in, in fifth at 54%. Most tackles won, neither club was in. Most dribbles made, however, both were in. Benfica in seventh with 79. Bovista in eighth with 76. Most shutouts, Benfica finished in second with 15, and Bovista had 11, and they finished in sixth. And then for fewest goals conceded, Benfica finished in second with 31 goals allowed, and Bovista in fifth with 37 goals allowed. Now on to the player overview. Most goals, Albert Ellis was absolutely phenomenal for Boa Vista. He had 33 goals, and the next highest goal scorer in the league was Luca Waldschmidt from Benfica, who had 19. So that is quite a big difference. Most assists, we've got Gustavo Sauer from Boa Vista, tied in second with Nuno Santos with 12 assists in the league. Most shots, Albert Ellis and first, Jackson Perozo was joint sixth with three other people who all had 69 shots. Now, Albert Ellis had the most player of the match performances with seven most key passes. We've got Alex Grimaldo, who you guys can see in my Everton save that we're doing over on Twitch, as well as here on YouTube with the edited down versions. Alex Grimaldo had 126 key passes. He finished in fourth. Dude, it's absolutely phenomenal. And Giannis Hamace finished in sixth with 104. Best pass completion, Lucas Verissimo. He had 96%, so joint with a bunch of other guys. Then Jan Vertogen had 95%. He finished in eighth. Most tackles won. We did not have anyone in. Most dribbles made, however, we did with Rafa having 33, finishing in second. And Angel Gomez finishing in sixth with 25. Most shutouts, uh, I believe it's Ad Adiseas Vlachodimos. From Benfica, finished in third with 14 shutouts. And then Leo Jardim from Boa Vista with 11. Fewest conceded, Vlachodimos, that is a very tough name, had only allowed 20 goals during the season. And Leo Jardim, who finished in eighth, only allowed 35. But now let's see what the squads did overall. All right. So, here we are with Benfica first. Luca Waldschmidt had 33 goals on the season. Rafa with 15. Pizzi with 14. Everton with 10. Jan Vertonghen with 8. We got Cherby and Weigel. One with 4. One with 3. Nunes with 3. A couple with 2. A couple with 1. We got contributions everywhere. Then assist-wise, Grimaldo with 13 assists. Luca Waldschmidt and Pizzi both with 9. Gabriel with 8. We got Weigel, Chiquinho, Rafa, and Everton all with seven. And then it kind of drops off from there, but Cherby with three, a couple with two, a couple with one. And I mean, everyone was performing pretty well overall. Now let's see how Boa Vista did. All right, so here we are with Boa Vista. Albert Ellis, like I said, played very, very well. He was in the advanced forward role uh, in this tactic. He had 41 goals in 42 games. Absolutely phenomenal. We'll definitely take that. Nuno Santos with 10. Jackson Perozo with 10. Engel Gomez with 8. We got Gustavo Sauer with 7. Rosinho with 5. A couple players with 2. A couple with 1. Assist-wise, though, Gustavo Sauer with 17. Giannis Hamace with 11. Engel Gomez with 11. We got Nuno Santos, Sebastian Perez, Reggie Cannon, fellow American, all with 6 assists. We've got Miguel Rossinho and Ricardo Mangas with three assists, both of them. And then we've got a couple with two and a couple with one. And, I mean, with these Portuguese clubs, very, very happy with how they performed. It sucks that neither team won the league, but Boa Vista finishing way higher than they're supposed to finish. They finished runner-up in the Portuguese Cup, which is awesome. Benfica lost out on the league to Porto, got knocked out by the eventual winners in Braga, and they were beating teams like Juventus and got knocked out in the quarterfinals of the Champions League by Liverpool, and then they won the Super Cup here in Portugal. So the Portuguese teams did very, very well, but now let's see how the teams in France did. All right, so here we are in France now. We tested with PSG and FC Laurent. PSG winning the league as they usually do, and FC Laurent finishing in 10th, which FC Laurent are supposed to finish bottom of the league. Now, 
PSG won the Champions League, which is awesome. They won it over Man U. They did, however, get knocked out before the quarterfinals by AS Monaco. AS Monaco had a very good season. Uh, so did Olympic Marseille. Olympic Marseille was absolutely insane. But they did win the Trophy de Champions, so still securing a treble on their behalf. But getting into the team and player overview, PSG scored the most goals with 103 goals. Most shots for, PSG had the most. Fewest shots against, PSG had the least against. Best pass completion, PSG came in fourth with 88%. Most possession, PSG came in six with 52%. Most tackles won, PSG and FC Warrant were not in. Most dribbles made, PSG had 138 dribbles made. They finished in first. They had the most shutouts with 21, and few was conceded by only conceding 25. The next lowest conceded was Angers with 41. Now, FC Warrant was not in any of these categories because, one, PSG, way better team, but two, FC Lorient are supposed to finish bottom of the league in 20th. I think it's 20th. Just bottom of the league in general. But they ended up finishing in 10th, way higher than they're supposed to finish. So, I mean, we'll definitely, definitely take that with FC Lorient. Um, And they did have a down ending to their season. They lost like their last three or four games, um, which is kind of upsetting. But overall, both teams did very, very well in the league. Now, getting into the player overview. Most goals, Icardi, Mbappe, and Neymar for PSG are all in. Tara Mofi from FC Lorient is in. Icardi had 24 league goals. Kevin Mbappe had 22. Tara Mofi with 18. And Neymar with 17. Most assists, Neymar with 17. So 17 league goals, 17 league assists. Absolutely love that. Mbappe had 16. And Di Maria with 11. Most shots, Mbappe and Mofi both in. Most player of the match performances, Mbappe had eight. Mofi had seven. Neymar with six. And Angel Di Maria with six. Most key passes, Neymar had 131. Too shy of being top. And Angel Di Maria had 113, finishing in seventh. Now, best pass completion. Marquinhos said the best pass completion in the league. Joint with two other players, but, I mean, he finished top. With 96%, and Presno Kempembe 1% under at 95%. Now, most tackles won, no one was in, but most dribbles made. Kylian Mbappe finished in first, yeah, first, first with 44. Neymar finished in fifth with 32, and Armand Lariente finished with 31 in eighth. Now, most shoutouts, Kaylor Navas finished in first with 19. Paul Nardi finished joint seventh with 11. And then Kaylor Navas allowed the fewest goals in the league with 21. Now, let's see how the squads did overall. All right, so here with FC Laurent, we've got Taron Mofi with 18 goals, Lariente with 12, Boys Guard with 7, Lefe with 3, and it Goes to two and then a couple of one. Not a whole lot of goal scoring being done. They were a much more defensive team. Uh, but once again, finishing in 10th, we will definitely take because they are supposed to finish bottom. But assist wise, Mendez with seven. We've got Lariente, Boysgard, and Mofi all with six. We've got Lagolf with five. We got Morel with three. Vissa and Alori with two and a couple with one. So, like I said, more of a defensive team just trying to survive and survive they did but now let's see what psg did on their behalf all right so psg goal wise Kevin mbappe with 39 mario Icardi with 35 neymar with 22 miguel di maria with 13 presno Kempembe with seven abdu diallo with five you got julian draxler and marco Verratti with four a couple of three couple of two couple of one contributions from everyone And then assist-wise, we have got Neymar with 25, Mbappe with 18, we've got Engel Di Maria with 17, Marco Verratti with 13, Juan Bernat with 11, then it drops down to 6 from Pablo Sarabia, Icardi with 5, Herrera with 4, couple with 3, couple with 2, couple with 1. And, I mean, overall, very happy with how this tactic performed. Would have been nice if PSG did the quadruple, 
but I mean, they still did the treble. So that's very nice. Uh, but Portuguese clubs wise, very, very happy with how they performed. And this is a tactic that it, it's kind of meant for those teams that are supposed to finish a little bit lower to overachieve, such as FC Lorient and Boa Vista. And Boa Vista definitely overachieved. Um, FC Lorient definitely defied all odds and stayed up. And I mean, it, it has some playmaking ability in there, has some definite goal scoring ability in there. Um, but yeah, let's see how this tactic performs in game. So that'll do it for today's tactic video with the Iron Fist 433. With that last clip from Boa Vista, this team absolutely dominated with this tactic. So I highly recommend checking it out. It will be linked in the Discord, which is linked in the description down below. So if you guys want to download it, that is where it will be. But yeah, with all that being said, if you guys did happen to enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one. Bye.